Amen. And uh, I would like to uh, welcome everybody, and especially our uh, sister who came here. Amen. We welcome you, sister, and all the uh, people uh, who are watching uh, All for Jesus Church worldwide, especially Amen. in the Philippines. Hallelujah. And uh, all over the province of the Philippines. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa yung sa yung pakikinig ang uh, nagtatangkilik sa All for Jesus Church. Amen. At uh, today, uh, this is the celebration of my birthday, but Amen. it's not my uh, oh, actually uh, date of my birthday. I uh, I uh, I have um, my birthday was uh, March 14, 19 uh, this this year, March 14. <laughs> so I would like to uh, greet each and every one of you who celebrated March 14 Amen. this year, Hallelujah. this month. Amen. <laughs> happy What's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What is your name? Oh, no. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Lord. And um, before we proceed, I would like to dedicate this uh, promise of the Lord that uh, every every believers and every listeners who believe in Jesus Christ, Amen. especially the birthday celebrants on or before March 14. Amen. Ito po ang message ng Panginoon para po sa ating lahat. Matatagpo po sa uh, Proverbs 16, verse 31, it says here, Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained by a righteous life. Amen. 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 Kaya pala kung gray hair ang buhok ng tao. Amen. Ito ay splendor. Amen. It serves as a splendor. Amen. Amen. That means you have a long life, kapatid. Amen. 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 That is the attain, attained by a righteous life. Amen. Amen. At ganun din ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon doon sa Proverbs 10, 27 The fear of the Lord adds length to life but the years of the wicked cut short. Nakakatakot po ito. The fear of the Lord adds length dadagdagan ng Diyos pala yung buhay mo pagka ikaw ay may takot ka sa Panginoon. Amen? Kayo po, buksan po natin ang Bible natin sa Ecclesiastes chapter 9 Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3 to 10 at uh, pinupuri kong Panginoon pagkat uh, kahapon sana ako mag-prepare pero sa dami ng aking ginawa medyo medyo na kwan ako ng konti medyo na nagbisi ng konti uh, let's read from uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 9 verse 3 to 10 it says here this is the evil in everything that happens under the sun the same destiny overtakes all the hearts of men moreover are full of evil and there is madness in their hearts while they live Amen. and after that they join the dead anyone who is among the living has hope even a live dog is better off than a dead lion in verse 5 for the living know that he will die but the dead know nothing they have no further reward and even the memory of them is forgotten. In verse 6, their love, their hate, and their jealousy have long since vanished. Never again they will have a part in anything that happens under the sun. In verse 7, go eat your food with gladness and drink your wine with a joyful heart, for it is now that God favors what you have do. Always be clothed in white 
and always anoint your head with oil. In verse 9, enjoy life with your wife, whom you love all the days of this meaning life that God has given you under the sun. All your meanings or your meaningless days, for this is your lot in life, in, in your toilsome labor under the sun. Whether your hands, your hand, whether your hand finds to do, do it in all your might. For in the grave where you are going, there is neither working or planning, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. Amen. Glory to God. Tayo malalangin ang mga banal sa pangalan na Jesus. Kayo po'y lumalapit, Panginoon, sa oras ito. Panginoon, patawarin mo po ang aming mga kasalanan. Ito'y sinasadya, mano hindi sinasadya. Patawarin mo po kami, Panginoon. Pagkat sinabi mo, Panginoon, sa 1 John 1.9, if we confess our sins, your people are just to forgive our sins and purify us unto unrighteousness, to all, all unrighteousness. Thank you for your forgiveness of our sins, Lord. And to muli, Panginoon, thank you muli sa iyong patubay sa buong lingko sa amin. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for all the blessings. Thank you for all the, your protection and guidance towards us, Lord. Salamat po, Panginoon. At Muli, Lord, tinatas kong aking ang aming pag-aaralan sa oras na ito ito nga ang pagbulay-bulayan na yung banal na salita na manguna ka sa amin. Be with us, Panginoon. Cover us with your most precious blood and protect us, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. At haya mo lahat ng Panginoon na makikinig sa iyong salita ay mapagpala sa oras na ito. Bless each and every one of us, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mga kapatid, ang nabasa na po natin dito sa verse 3, sa Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 3, This is the evil in everything what happens under the sun. The same destiny overtakes all. The heart of men, moreover, are full of evil, evil and there is madness in their hearts while they live, and after, afterward, they join the dead. Amen. <laughs> the same destiny. King Solomon is speaking of death here on this verse. It comes to all. Lahat po mangyayari dyan. Lahat po mangyayari ito. Both the right, the righteous and the wicked will die. Amen? Amen. Without regard of being rich, without regard of, birth, of their being rich or poor, Great or small, yet despite this fact, men, men's heart are filled with evil and badness so long as they live without God. Amen. Kung wala palang Diyos sa buhay ng isang tao, ang nasa isip niya lagi ay evil. Yes. Madness. Amen. What else? What else you can, you can uh, contribute to this, uh, to this message? Kung wala ang Diyos sa buhay na isang tao, everything is wicked. Amen? Amen? But, God said, anyone who is among the living has hope. Lahat ng nabubuhay mayroong pag-asa. Amen? Even the live dog, better off than a dead lion. Maski pa pala anong tapang ng tao. Anong mayaman siya? Anong tapang niya? Anong, anong talino niya? Kung patay na pala, wala na pong silbi. Amen? Amen? Even a live dog, anong dito sa Bible na nabasa natin, sa scripture na nabasa natin, even the live dog versus the big lion, yung lion patay, yung dog na maliit, buhay. Sino ba sa importante dito? Yung buhay na aso. Amen? Amen. Even the live dog, live dog is better off than a dead lion. Aalhin mo pa ang kabayo kung ito'y patay na. Amen? Matapang man, mayroon man, wala nang silbi. Maganda pa yung walang-wala, maliit yan pero buhay. Amen? Yet, despite this fact, men's heart are filled with evil and madness so long as they live without God. But 
there are two kinds of life that you could choose. There are two kinds of life that you could choose. Live with Christ or live without Christ. Amen. That's a simple uh, question. In verse 4, it says here, Anyone who is among the living has hope. Even a live dog is better than, uh, than a dead lion. There is hope for salvation only, only while the individual is alive, all opportunities for salvation are on the side of the grave. Amen? While all the individual is alive, kung buhay ka pa kapatid, you always have a hope. Huwag kang mawawalan ng pag-asa, ibig sabihin, Panginoon, at kapatid, yung salvation mo, always nandyan. Always nandyan. Huwag kang mag-isip na uh, mamamatay na ako, hindi pa ako pinatawa ng Diyos. No! It's all about you. Itrabaho mo yan, kapatid. Amen? In, bar, in verses 5 to 6, sabi doon, For the living know that they will die. But the dead know nothing. For the living know that they will die. Alam natin tayo buhay, alam natin na mamamatay din tayo. Amen? Amen. Pero, but the dead know nothing. Patay na siya eh. Wala nang alam. Amen? When the life on this earth is ended, the soul and the spirit, whether of the wicked or the righteous, dead have no more earthly involvement, at least at this time. Wala nang earthly involvement ang patay na tao. Amen? What's na matay ang tao? There's no more involvement here on this earth. Amen. Amen. At least at this time. At least at this time. Anong ibig sabihin? There is, there is life after death. Yes. Amen. When an individual dies, the body and the soul will separate. The body and the soul will separate. Maghihiwalay po sila. Amen. And they have their own destination. Yes. The body is destined to go back to where? To the dust. Amen. To the dust. Return to its origin. In Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. Basahin po na lang natin sa bahay na po natin. Babalik sa alika po. Amen. Ang katawan ng tao. But the soul returned to its creator. Who is the creator? God is the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. And also, who live on this earth. They will receive, the soul will receive the verdict to his judgment of his spirit to where his final destination. Ito na ang judgment. The verdict, his judgment to his spirit to where his final destination will change sa dadali. Amen? Sa verse 7, sabi dito, Go, eat your food with gladness and drink wine with a joyful heart, for it is now that God favors what you do. Tumigil po natin sa dali dyan. Wine. Noong araw, Wine. Gustong gusto ko yan. Me too. Amen. Gustong gusto ko yan. May kasabihan sa Pilipinas dati, itapon mo na yung bigas mo ganyan yung alak. Amen. Ganyan ako noon, kapatid. Me too. Why? This in the Bible, they're not talking about a strong alcoholic drink. No. Amen. Hindi po ito may wine noon. Sweet wine. Red wine. Pero hindi po sila naglalasig. Hindi po alcoholic na alcoholic ang tao. Para maglasing hanggang gumagapang na. Ganyan po ako noon. Amen? Sa Proverbs 21 verse 17 
You will never be rich. Kung lasinggo ka, kapatid, you will never ever be rich. Always broke ka. Ganyan ako nung araw. Always broke. Alam mo yung broke? Ni isang tinti mo, wala ka sa bulsa mo. Kasi naubos sa alak. Amen? Wala pa akong nakitang taong lasinggero ng liwangan. Yan pong sinabi sa Proverbs 21 verse 17. At pakibasa na lang po sa bahay ninyo, sa Proverbs 20 verse 1, Why is a mocker? Why is a mocker? In Proverbs 31 verse 6, Give strong drinks into him that is ready to perish. Kung gusto mong magpatiwakan, <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Itong sinabi ng Bible, kapatid. Amen. Kung gusto ba mag magpatiwakal, go to Proverbs 31 verse 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to, to perish. Mm -hmm. Kung gusto mo magpakabatay, sige na. Go ahead mo. Kung gusto mo mapahamak, go ahead. Unwind into this. Unwind unto this that to be. Yung, yung, yung ano, may kabigatan ka sa puso. Iinom ka para makalimutan mo, no. Kinabukasan, babalik pa rin yan. Bandyan pa rin yung problema mo, kapatid. Amen. Amen. Hindi aalis yan. No. God does not want drunkards. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10, and Galatians 5, 21, pakibagsat na lang po ninyo sa mga bahay po ninyo. But instead... God already designed past tense po. God has already, already designed past tense, past tense po yung design. This life and existence. Kaya nabigyan tayo ng buhay. Amen. Amen. It's, already been, it's already been designed by God. Ang buhay mo kapatid. Amen. Kaya ikaw nabubuhay. Oh! Hanggang sa huli mong hininga, buhay ka pa rin. Amen? Kasi pukunting ka ng Panginoon sa langit. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yan pong ibig sabihin po niya. At if only a man will understand that and give his heart to God and by that, by that means Seek the will of God for His life and existence. God accept His word. Will accept His word. Works. I'm sorry. God will accept His works. Laging kanugod lugod sa Dios ang iyong mga gawa. Amen. You are accepted by God. Kung lasinggero ka ba kapatid, nanulugod ba ang Panginoon sa iyo? I don't think so. Amen. Hindi ka lugod-lugod sa Diyos yan. And because of that, there will be joy and merry heart. Mayroon kang kasiyahan lagi sa buhay mo. Amen? Hindi na kukuha sa alak po yan. No? Amen. And sa verse 8, ang sabi sa verse 8, Always be clothed in white and always anoint your head with oil. Ibig sabihin, Always have a clean heart. Amen. Clean thoughts. Amen. Not only your outward appearance. Maganda sa loob ay sa labas. Pero sa loob bulok. Amen. Pangit. Amen. Amen. Not only your outward look, but also your inward. Amen. Sa Matthew 23 verse 28, sabi ng Panginoon sa mga Pakibasa na lang po ninyo sa bahay ninyo. Sa Matthew 23 verse 28. Malinis ang mga loob nila. Malinis ang, ang labas nila. Pero bulok sila sa loob. That's a loan to God. Just stay, stay clean. Anong, 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 anong ibig sabihin ng clean? That's a purity. Amen. Clean is his touch for purity. Amen? Amen? Anoint your head with oil. Anong ibig sabihin ng oil dito? This is the word of God. The spirit of truth. 
that makes that makes you kapatid no ordinary person hindi ka na magiging ordinary yung person hindi ka magiging ordinary yung person amen because you then became child of God through faith in Jesus Christ amen, amen? You, be, you will become the child of God through faith in Jesus Christ Galatians 3 26 at ang papatuloy po natin sa verse 9 ang sabi nito enjoy life with your wife whom you love all the days of this many life that God has given you under the sun all your meaning de meaningless days sabi dito sa chapter uh, verse 9 enjoy life with your wife yung iba ini enjoy nila hindi nila asawa amen <laughs> marami nag-enjoy ng marami nag-enjoy na tao hindi nila enjoy nila hindi nila asawa Marami nag-enjoy ng tao, ini-enjoy nila ang life nila. Ini-enjoy nila 